Hello, Ruth here, and this is a, uh, like, a, a massive shout-out thing, because while I was searching for people to shout-out for some random thing, I got carried away of, on my list of, uh, people I've subscribed to, and blah. So, uh, basically the, I guess the random people first, that I haven't really put into categories or something, but, um, there's Lucario Blair Gamer, and if you notice, there are some r repeats. Um, there's, uh, Shaneco HD, The Lycan 238, Fighting Charizard, Number One Poke Family. I don't know if you notice in the description, I've actually put in the, uh, links to their channels, because it took a while to find them all. Copy and paste and whatnot. Okay, so, these are, like, the, the top people I like to watch, which, uh, well, sort of, anyway. Well, the top ones... So I do have some others in the different uh, categories I've written down. But anyway, there is Lollipop Kids, Retro New, Leon Hart, Unlisted Leaf, Dra uh, Dropper De Boy, Bye. Ugh. Can't read. Uh, Pokemon Life, Darium's Pokemon, Pokemon Evolutionaries, Vintage Pokemon. There is a uh, Simply Unlucky. Though I haven't watched a lot of his lately, but I have watched quite a few of his uh, Pokemon and the Yu-Gi-Oh one. Which is, that's what he, yeah, yeah, that's, um, he has three channels, the main one, Simply Unlucky, then there's the, uh, Simply Yu-Gi-Oh! and Simply Pokemon, the Simply Unlucky is, like, basically a combination of, well, his first one, so it's a combination of both his second and third channel or something, but yeah, Cyber Knight, which is mainly Yu-Gi-Oh!, but I think there might be a splash of Pokemon in there somewhere, uh, Pokemania, then there is, um, 414 YGO, which is Yu Gi Oh, obviously, or 414 Anime. Most, I didn't watch quite a lot of his uh, deck profiles because I'm not really interested in that, but it seems like people are interested in that stuff since he has almost 12,000 subscribers, I think it was. I'm going to take a brief look. And then some other stuff that I like watching is The Crane Couple, The Elastic, Chad Allen, and a little bit of everything lead a bit of everything for like the uh, blind boxes and stuff and the toy hunts and whatnot. Uh, also Blue Sika. Then there's uh, Abdullah Smash 026 which like he does gameplay and stuff. So like I was watching it mostly when he was doing the uh, Animal Crossing stuff. Was it Amiibo Festival or something? And then there was like some Pokemon gameplay, I think, and, well, some other good gameplays. Right now, he's on Fire Emblem, I believe. Uh, then there's the King of Random, with loads of science-y stuff. The recent one, I think, was, um, him using a flamethrower, which was pretty cool. Uh, of course, there's own uh, homemade stuff, and shows you how to make, like, random stuff. <laughs> Then there's a uh, Charlotte in Japan, or her other sh channel, uh, Charmander, which is basically like um, about stuff in Japan, obviously. Uh, let's see, for like the Harry Potter stuff that I like to watch, there's a uh, Cherry Wallace, which is like loads of Harry Potter stuff, like uh, subscription boxes or DIY stuff or stuff. Uh, Lana, though she does do other ones, I believe. I only recently watched some of hers because they did a collab together. But uh, I do watch mainly her Harry Potter-based ones, sort of. Then the the food ones I like watching because why not? Uh, there is a Simply a Dumpling, which is pretty funny to watch too. Um, Mark Weens is uh, basically a uh, well, just, uh, food around the world, basically, I guess. It's very cool, and it's also interesting to see the price differences when you convert and everything. Um, Eric Surf 6, which I mainly watch it for the, uh, Eric Meal Time uh, segments. Uh, it's, it's like 190-something episodes so far for that little series. There's, a uh, Rosanna Pancino, which is the, uh, Nerdy Nummies, which I like watching those ones. I even bought their, her uh, cookbook for that one as well. Um, 
let's see, there's My Cupcake Addiction. Uh, that is basically about cupcakes and decorating and other type of cakes as well. Which I did buy her book as well. Which is very interesting. Uh, How to Cake It. There's another, like, cake one, obviously. <laughs> so, like, uh, baking it and decorating it. Which some of her creations are uh, really awesome. Uh, My Vision Kitchen is basically just any type of food really and just how to make it. Then a uh, Emmy made in Japan which is uh well still about food I think. Mostly about food anyway and stuff. So I think that is about it. At least that's all the ones that I got the links for. So that was like a, a, a jumbo uh, opening. Um I don't believe there is anything else. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, yes, I guess a few notices. Let's see. Some of the episodes, or, well, videos that I have coming up are, like, obviously the, uh, the Shining Legend ones, which will start up being uploaded by the 12th of November. Then, let's see, there's a few weeks of... Shining Legends, a few days of Shining Legends, I mean. Uh, then there's like a uh, battle, uh, no, Mystery Powers tins, all three of those. Team Skull Pin Collection box, Alone Raichu box, um, some plush I uh, uploaded, I mean, I bought from a charity thing. And we have another two episodes of The Search for Tapu Lele. Because I managed to uh, price match a uh, booster box. So I did some, I think it was four packs in each so far for those two episodes. And then there's a shiny Colossus tin for the shiny Xerneas. I still need to get the uh, Veltal one. I haven't bought that yet. Then I did recently, I haven't even uploaded or scheduled it yet, but after that, there's the uh, Crimson Invasion 3-pack blister for Lucario, Decidueye, and a Elite Trainer Box, uh, Savali one. Um, let's see, obviously there's the continuation of the Might and Magic Clash of Heroes blind bags every Wednesday, and they finish on the 7th of February, so, uh, that'll be quite a few weeks, because there was a uh, 18 in total part, or is it 16? 18 I believe. Three boxes, six parts each. Uh, yeah. So that, as I said, ends on the 7th of February 2018. And after that I did finally get a, uh, uh, like a blind, uh, gotcha capsules. Uh, I found a few gotcha machines in the, uh, near the Odeon section in the Red Dragon Center, which I was... I never really went down there before, so I totally missed it. But I only had five pounds to actually use as change, because they don't do cash back for their cash registers. So, I'll have to bring more cash next time. But, um... Was there anything else? Uh, there's still the 300 sub giveaway. I'm on, like, 240? 242 subs right now, so it'd be very nice if you sub. That'd be nice. Um, uh, there is a uh, Loot Crate Wizarding World uh, coming out in November, I believe. So that will be coming. I have, I think. I skipped, well I definitely skipped last month, which is October, so I haven't actually looked at this month yet. So I, I might skip that because I need the money for other stuff, because I'm going to the Harry Potter London Studio Tour thing. But I did already pre-order the uh, things that come out on the 17th 
which is the Marshadow GX box, Shiny Savali GX box, Premium Trainers XY Collection box, and a collector's chest for Shining Legends. I'd actually never bought a collector's chest before, because, like, where would I put it? I mean, what would I do with it? But it is Shining Le Legends, so I thought might as well. Um, I did buy a Checkling blister set of two for the Crimson Invasion, but that hasn't come yet. I still have not gotten the uh, Ultra Beast GX Premium Collections uh, either box. I, uh, let's see, I already pre-ordered the Special Collection Zoroark GX box. So that's the uh, Shining Legends thing as well. Um, I guess I can tell you what, as far as I know, what uh, is coming out after the uh, 17th of November. So on the 1st of December, there's a Shining Legend Zoroark pin collection box. On the 5th of January 2018, there is a Guzzlord GX collection box. On Still on the 5th of January, there is a Shining Legends Raichu special collection box. I abbreviated some letters so it fit on, on one line. Anyway, um, there's a Shining Legends Marshadow pin collection box on the 19th of January. And... Uh, the release date hasn't been confirmed yet, so it says uh, between January and March. There is a Tapu Lele pin collection box, so that I'm really looking forward to that. Because even if I didn't get a uh, Tapu Lele pull, I'd get one from that. So that's awesome. Uh, was there anything else? I don't think so. There will be a new... Uh, uh, <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, booster coming out. I think it's called Spirit Warriors. I did pre-order, I think, four booster packs of those because it's got a few cards, I think, that I w would be good for my collection. Like some Six Samurai stuff, I believe. I don't actually buy so much Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, actually. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, the Pokemon ones that I need to get are the Serena GX box, Kingdra EX box, and Volta Tin, and probably something else. Though I might skip Como because I don't actually really like him that much. I could get him later if I have enough money from other things. Uh, let's see, and as you all know, the uh, Ultra Moon comes out on the 17th of November as well, and I already already pre-ordered that, and I only pre-ordered it because it comes with a figure. I don't know if it still comes with a figure if you don't order it on the Nintendo website, but yeah, I, I did just in case. Um, was that all? Like, this is, this is going on like about 13 minutes, wow. And my battery's going. Okay, so since my battery's going, I shall wrap it up there. So, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for more, share it if you wish, or, or whatever, um, yeah, so, uh, oh yes, comment below if you would like a shout out, because I don't think anyone really commented on the last video if they wanted a shout out, they just said thank you and stuff, which is very nice of them, but, uh, if you want a shout out, please, Tell me you want a shout out, otherwise uh, I won't get to you if I don't know if you want one. So, uh, thank you for watching. I already said all this before, haven't I?